Hey guys, so this is Georgie from the Style Transplant, and um, I thought it was about time I did my first video, and as you can see from my face, I'm going to do my just kind of daily makeup routine, um, just because it's been requested by a couple people, so let's get started. All I've done so far is just wash my face and shower, and um, put some of my like, acne cream on, but this Avino Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. It's what I use like kind of just for all over. I always put on some kind of moisturizer because I mean my face is not really very dry but I strongly believe that you need to moisturize. After I do that I use my Clinique Even Better makeup. I really like this because it has the SPF in it and it's supposed to be, you know, supposed to kind of heal your skin, I guess. And this is in the shade Linen and it's number 24. And I just use kind of a foundation brush, it's pretty like thick. And then I kind of just. It's really hard with this color here to make sure you don't get any makeup. And start kind of on my cheeks, and my nose, and my eye. And the coverage is probably, I'd say, medium. Um, like you can kind of build it up, but it's not super thick, and it's lightweight. Like I don't feel like I have it on. And I always blend this down my neck because. I do not want to have that neck, white neck, and tan face. Even though I do feel like this is the first makeup in a while that I felt actually matches my skin tone, which is good. It's hard to find kind of pale enough. So now I kind of take this. Uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but I have found one that I really like right now. And then I just use like a fluffy brush. And I just kind of go over my T-zone. So I'm just kind of like right here. And like over my eyes, because my eyes, I tend to get like the creases. So, and then I just take a little extra and kind of put it under my eyelids where I get that kind of crease. Okay, so now that I kind of have my base down, you know, just my foundation and my powder, I usually do my brows because I just like to get them done because I don't like how they look like by themselves. So I'll just take my little mirror and kind of brush them out. I have very kind of coarse eyebrows, so they're kind of hard to tame sometimes. So I just kind of brush them in, and then I use the CoverGirl Professional Brow and Eye Makers Pencil Crayon in 520 Soft Blonde. I have trouble finding a blonde enough pencil for my eyebrows because I do have quite light eyebrows. And anything super dark just looks very harsh on my face. But this one I found is actually pretty close. So then I just kind of follow the underneath of my brow to give it like a base. Eyebrows are not perfect, are they? So I just kind of go with it. I've learned to love my, you know hard to work with eyebrows. I feel like I still haven't mastered the brow yet, but... So, now I'll go in with like my bronzer and blush and all that. For that I just use this brush, it's a little bit of like a kind of beveled, angled brush. And for my bronzer, I use the the Balm 
Oklahoma Mama bronzer. I really like this bronzer because it's not too, it's not sparkly at all, which I don't want, especially like when it's not kind of the summer. And then it's, it's just like a good shade, I guess, for my kind of face. It's not too brown because I do have quite pale skin. And I just kind of like follow the contour of my cheeks. It just gives my face a little bit of shape and a little bit of kind of more life, I guess. So I kind of take it up here, obviously trying not to get in my hair. <laughs> and then just kind of follow my face down. So once I'm that, then I use, also by the balm, the Frat Boy blush. I just feel like this blush is just such a pretty pink color. And it's very close to Orgasm by NARS, which was my previous favorite, so very pigmented though. So kind of be careful <laughs> when you are using it. So I just kind of put this on kind of the balls of my cheeks. Just to give that like kind of pink, fresh glow. Especially for spring, I like to have that kind of rosy cheek vibe. <laughs> So next I like to put on some chapstick at some point, just, just to like moisturize my lips before I put my lipstick on in the very end, so. This is just Baby Lips Dr. Rescue. Um, I can't remember why I picked this one initially. So I do like to put usually like a little bit of kind of highlight on, and I've been using the, the Manizer Sisters by the Balm, just the... Mary Lou Manizer. But I just get that same brush that I used earlier, kind of like make sure there's no blush on it. And I just tap, get a little bit of that, and I just kind of sweep it. This just helps to kind of brighten up the cheeks, I feel like. So after I've kind of done all my kind of contouring and bronze and blush and all that, I then go on to kind of my eyes. So take my little mirror again and I use kind of the magnifying side and I will do like my kind of eyeliner. I just am using the wet seal or wet seal. I'm just using the wet and wild coal eyeliner in black. Looks like this. It's just like a really cheap good one that I found so and I kind of what I found easiest for me is Kind of lining my whole eyelid with this and then going in with the um, liquid eyeliner for the flick. So. And then I just go into the side and kind of do the same thing. So. I find that I tend to hold my breath when I'm doing things like eyeliner, which is not good because it can take a while. Okay, so after I do that, I'll take my um, Schwing, the Balm eyeliner. It's just a liquid eyeliner. I really like, like I've tried a bunch of different eyeliners, liquid eyeliners. The ones I like the best are the ones with the little brush, just because I find that it's like easier. Maybe since I like to paint, I just feel like it's a paintbrush. I'm not really sure. So for this, I just kind of focus on the outside corners of my eyes since I've already done the inside. And then I just do like a little flick. And I try to like do one and then do the other so that they match as best as possible. But usually they still look a little bit off, but it's okay in my book. So I just kind of connect, like I connected the corner of my eye to the top of the flick. Okay, so that's one side. Now I'm just trying to do the other side the same. This should be fun. Okay, so now they're kind of even. Uh, the next thing I do is I'll go in with my mascara. And for this, I just take my little mirror again and I'll do the kind of magnifying side. The one I use right now is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. And this one I really like. I find it's kind of similar to Roller Lash, um, which I really like. So this is just a cheaper kind of. Dupe, so 
So I kind of just wipe off any excess. And then I'll start by looking down. I have kind of, for the first pass, I just kind of make sure that I cover every lash a little bit and then I'll go back in and kind of fill them in more. This is another thing that you do not want to get in white hair. <laughs> I have to make sure all my hair is back. Then I just use a kind of a setting spray. I love this stuff. It's amazing. The Creme Simone. Um, it's, called, it's like it has... It's the Creme Simone um, Clarifiance Detox. Brightening Detox kind of thing. Um, it's kind of like an all-in-one. It can be a toner, a hydrating mist, or a makeup setting spray. I use it as a setting spray. I just really like the smell of it and I feel like it has pretty good staying power, so I just kind of spray it at kind of like an arm's length. Make sure I get everywhere. And I just let that dry. Also, I feel like so, last but not least, is some lipstick. And right now, I've just been really liking the NYC lingerie um, liquid lipstick. This one is in the color Ruffle Trim. This is this kind of the one I wear all the time. And it's number four. So this is kind of the finished look. It's just my everyday kind of simple go-to makeup routine. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if there's any products that you want more information about or if there's any products that you think I would like. And like the video if you were interested at all in what I wear on my face. And subscribe. I love you guys.